What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski, back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and finally getting a chance now to bring you guys the showcase video for the brand new uh, global anniversary character being Sabo, Super Tandem Sabo. Uh, we actually have had a Super Tandem Sabo prior to this character's release for those who remember um, it was actually a free-to-play treasure map character. He, he debuted during the actual release of Super Tandem during the anniversary uh, last year. So it's kind of going full circle right before the next anniversary. We get yet another Super Tandem Sabo. So of course, this character is built to be used with the new Ace and the new Luffy character. More predominantly the Ace character. This character has a great synergy with that character that we'll be showing off in this video today. So let's go ahead and uh, and actually discuss what this character is capable of doing because this character is actually super solid. Um, but I don't think he's going to see a lot of play. But let's go ahead and break down his captain. His captain is going to provide minus one cooldown to the start of the quest. Seems like just about every legend that comes out these days has cooldown reduction, of course, for uh, except for Super Tandem Whitebeard, he's not allowed to have cooldown. But then you've got the, the actual captain itself, which boosts Quick, Psy, and Cerebral characters by 5.4 with a matching slot, five times otherwise. Incredibly high damaging output in captain effect. I mean, it, this is one of the best captains in the game, just in terms of raw damage, which is really good. And you know, due to the fact that this character is quite a limited unit, you know, he's only available during these anniversary celebrations, it does kind of make sense that he has a high multiplier captain. He also provides 1.4 HP, which you cannot discredit. That's a lot of HP boost boost and also makes strength dex and tandem slots beneficial so it's a really good um captain ability so far just good solid effects but then there's a really neat effect as well that says that anytime you add a chain addition or a multiplicative boost on your crew then he automatically launches his special at the start of the next turn and this has really good implications especially when you use him as a captain um, with his special and the way that it works typically the way that his special would work it's actually better to use him as a sub, but the way that he, he is built, it actually means that you can use him in captain scenarios where you wouldn't be able to do so otherwise. We'll talk more about that when we actually get to his uh, into his special. But of course, when you do opt to use him as a captain, you get access to his super class, which you just need one of the certain characters on the crew. You've got a pretty good array of units here. You've got Luffy, Ace, Garp, which is pretty typical. But then you've got the revolutionary army characters, such as Koala Hack, you've got Ivankov, Inazuma, Lindbergh, Bello Betty, Karasu, Morle, Kuma, and Nico Robin, as well as Rebecca is, is an additional unit that you can use in order to proc the super class. So the effect itself, 80 times his attack in typeless damage to a single target, so you can't really use it for wave clearing, but the effect does give a 2.5 color affinity boost to quick science cerebral. So that's a very good effect you can get from a super class. And that effect alone is going to see this character maybe see some play just due to that, because that's, that's a significant color affinity boost. There aren't too many color affinities that even compete with that. You know, you've obviously got the waifus, which can get you up to a 2.75 color affinity. And if you use, you know, Roger and Newgate, you can buff that, you know, to, to a 3.25 color affinity, which is nothing to scoff at. But with one character giving you a 2.5 affinity by himself that is uninterruptible with that super class is very, very good. Now, of course, his special ability. It does 100 times his attack in typeless damage only to a single target, but then reduces special bind by 7 turns. And this is what I was mentioning earlier. Typically, these units that have specials that remove special bind Typically, you only want to use them as a sub because they're going to be able to resist special bind as a sub, which he does. He's able to do that. And then you can use the special to remove the special bind for the crew. But remember, when a character is a captain, they don't get access to their crewmate abilities. So normally, these characters that remove special bind with their special, you know, they're not the best as captains, unless if they have a way to remove that special bind. But the fact that Sabo can automatically launch his special when you move to the next turn, if you know you're going to be hit with special bind in that next turn, you can use a chain boost or a chain multiplicative boost in the turn prior. 
and then when you move into that next turn or the next stage, he automatically launches his special, removing the special bind, which is incredibly valuable to have. On top of that, he removes seven turns of rainbow shield damage reduction, locks the crew slots for one turn as well. He then further says that if you already have a chain multiplier boost active when you launch the special, then he actually gives you a 3.0 chain boundary for three turns, which is very good. But if you don't have a chain related buff before launching the special, you only get a 2.75 chain boundary and it's only for one turn instead. So it really incentivizes you to have some type of chain addition or chain multiplicative boost on the team that you can use alongside this Sabo so that you can get the most out of this special, especially when you're planning to use his special to carry over multiple different stages you want to make sure that you can have chain multiplicative or additional boosts and the best characters to synergize with this unit would be the anniversary Luffy or more importantly the super tandem ace that we got uh, a few weeks back he's actually a great addition to this unit um, with obviously having a uh, lot of turns of chain addition and having a really neat effect that he has that can you know stack chain and carry it over to them to the next room which is a very unique buff that, that, that the Super Tandem Ace actually has. Works very well with this Sabo character. Um, Ace's, uh, or should we say Sabo special, uh, also continues to say that if you already have a chain lock when you launch Sabo special, you actually extend the duration of chain lock by two turns. That kind of effect is just fine. You know, it's not like the best effect ever, but you know, if you use the three turn chain boundary when you move on to the next stage, if he auto launches, you then get the, the chain boundary to last or the chain uh, lock, whatever chain effect you have can last for even longer, which is kind of cool. Uh, and you're seeing in this clip here up again, Against one of the latest Grand Voyages absolutely decimated um, so he, he's a great addition and if you really are looking to beat Grand Voyage versus Buggy this Sabre is gonna help you do that now in terms of his super tandem remember that is a big key component to this character uh, this super tandem unfortunately is not one of my favorites in order to activate it you do need the two characters um, prior to attacking um, so you do need three total units including Sabo himself and that's at level five so the condition is a lot worse when you're in the early stages but you need uh, the same characters that are required for his uh, super class so if you are building with him as a captain you should be able to fulfill the condition for the super tandem but unfortunately, the effect you get from it does an, an ignite effect to all enemies for one turn, and it will give you a two times conditional against ignited enemies as well as a 1.75 rainbow tandem attack boost. So on paper, in terms of raw damage, this is incredibly good. The only real downside is, is that the ignited conditional boost that he provides does not go through, through immunity. So that's a pretty big downfall there as you do need to ensure that you're actually able to inflict the enemy with that ignited status. And if you are though, the amount of damage you get from this super tandem alone is quite incredible. And of course you can partner this up with the New Year's legend Nico Robin, which allows you to stack multiple conditional boosts in one turn. So you can have a really cool situation where you can have Nico Robin's defense down conditional, you can have super tandem Sabo's ignited conditional acting at the same time time uh, so there is a lot to like here and i do i do like the fact that the nico robin partners up very well with this sabo we didn't get to showcase too much of that in this video today of course because uh, no not too many people out there have super tandem level 5 sabos that we can freely trial out but still it's a really nice thing to know in the future that nico robin and this sabo if you're able to partner it up with some additional characters like aces or luffy's or potentially even more revolutionaries that may release down the road this could be a really good addition to those types of teams and finally we need to finish up this video with talking about his support effect because this is also another really unique component to this character so it only attaches to Luffy, Ace, Koala, and Hack, so quite restrictive, but in terms of what it does, it kind of makes sense that it's as restrictive as it is. So the effect only activates when you're inflicted with Special Bind, but the effect changes the character slot into matching, as well as provides a 3.25 times chain lock for one turn. So unfortunately it doesn't remove the Special Bind, which would have been a really neat addition, you know, if we had like a Legend Garp style support for Luffy, Ace, Koala, and Hack would have been ridiculous. But the fact that you just get a 3.25 chain lock 
for free is really good. And the fact that the attack down based on your chain multiply has been super prevalent as of late, if there's going to be any content moving forward that also has, you know, the attack down based on your chain that also inflicts special bind to the crew, I feel like this support is going to be really good to combat uh, those types of, uh, of content. So we'll have to wait and see how things progress moving forward. But all in all, that's the breakdown of Sabo. He's a fantastic unit, and I don't think he's going to be, like, the go-to character that everyone wants to use as a captain these days, but this is going to be, like, a nice subsidiary character that will synergize very well with future releasing Luffy's Aces, Revolutionary Army characters, Nico Robbins, any of those types of units that release in the future. This is a unit you want to keep in the back of your mind because he's going to work very well with these units moving forward. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today, and if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to go ahead and leave a like, and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. On that guys, I'll see you guys within the next video. Come on, come on, come on,